this organizer is the coolest thing and I wanted to show it to you for anybody who hadn't seen it. This is our home planning binder and it comes with 12 weeks of menu plans, actually 12 weeks of menu plans for all of the things, slow cooker, freezer, summer, celebration, everything. It's fantastic. Um, it comes with like seven sets of our menu plans and the binder. The, pen, the, uh, the menu plans all come as a PDF file. Let me show you how it works. So it's a binder that comes like this. It comes with 30 sleeves so you can fit 60 recipes in it. When you open it up, y'all, I'm so excited because I actually did it this morning. Each one, there's tabs for everything. So appetizers, breakfast, lunch, sides, sweets. We are actually gonna scoot down to freezer because today we're gonna be making the Brunswick stew. So I just wanna make sure y'all saw this. Right now we have a crazy bundle deal where you get the binder. It's an easel stand, let me show it to you. And all of our menu plans, all of the menu plans for a crazy price. You can click the link in the video. I can't remember what the price is actually off the top of my head. So if somebody sees it, you can let, let us know. That's how it sets up on your kitchen counter though. So let me show you. Anyways, we're gonna make the Brunswick chicken stew casserole. Y'all know I have been making freezer meals like crazy this week. So I have a ton of food. Let me show you the freezer meals I've made so far this week and then we'll hop in to make it. I have made check lemon, lemon pesto chicken tenders, hash brown and ham casserole, two lasagnas, ranch chicken parmesan, cranberry bread, brisket. Y'all, I have stocked up my freezer full. This thing just makes life a little bit easier. If you love having a PDF and you like the size of it, you're gonna love this thing. So click the link of the video if you're interested in the bundle deal because that price is gonna go up at the end of the month. It is just a really good deal. Can y'all see this? That's how it works. Good morning, Vicki. Hi, Beth. Okay, who's making dinner with me today? Who's gonna make the buns with chicken stew casserole? Let's get it done. Hey, Faith, so glad to see you this morning. Okay, let me hop here so y'all can see our recipe. It's $79 for, all, for the easel plus all the menu plans. By far the best deal you're gonna find anywhere. Let me show you how it kind of looks out here. So we are making the Brunswick chicken stew casserole. We also have the freezer boxes. If you want printed cards sent to you, we have those as well. Um, but I thought I would show y'all that today because I don't think I've talked about it much since we started shipping them. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so what we're there, now you can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna add, I've got one and a half pounds of boneless skinless chicken breasts. I've got um, smoked sausage. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna pour this all into a big bowl. And now I'm gonna add a 14 and a half ounce can of petite diced tomatoes, three cups of hash browns, a 12 ounce package of lima beans, my husband loves this recipe. It's different, I will tell you it is different. Um, a package of gumbo mix, y'all, this is gonna make a ton. This is gonna go into two. Here's what it looks like, y'all. Have you seen this one? This is the vegetable gumbo spread blend. If you live in the South, it's gonna be easy to find. If you live in the North, it's gonna be harder to find. It, they should have it in the winter time. So it's a weird concoction. Um, if you're looking for it, let me tell you what the ingredients are. It is, okra, corn, onions, celery, and bell peppers. So you maybe could find one up north that doesn't have the, what's it called? Uh, probably not gonna have okra in it is my bet. So that would just be my two cents. Then we're gonna add in a cup of barbecue sauce and we're just gonna mix this all together. Now you can put this all in one big 13 by nine pan. I'm doing this in two smaller pans because that's what I have. Um, I mean, it's just, a, it makes a ton, it's a lot of food. So if you've ever had Brunswick, how many of y'all have had Brunswick chicken stew? It's very much just, it's Brunswick chicken stew, honestly, y'all, except in the cinnamon casserole form. So you're gonna mix it all together. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't think I am. You're gonna mix it all really well. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm so glad I pulled out this extra, I was afraid it would be a ton, so I happen to have an extra one of these. to do this right. I hate this. Can I just tell y'all that I don't appreciate this? When they tape stuff to the bottom of your floor plans at the store, I feel like then I have to wash it a ton. I gotta go wash this real fast before I dump in here. Okay, at least rinse it. It just seems, it just seems weird to me to have sticky stuff in your food. I don't know what other option they have. I guess they have to do something to it, but yeah, I may rinse that and do that one second. Well, I think it'll be fine. Tell me we'll be fine, y'all. Tell me we'll be fine. You made the chick creamy tater tot casserole. Did you like that one? Let me know. Hi, Kristen. So glad to see you. Okay, so what are you making for dinner tonight? 
Tell me what you're doing. We are having leftover lemon pesto chicken tenders and a big salad. Oh my gosh, such yummy food, you guys. I love good recipes. Okay, this is a lot in this bowl. Like it is very full, very, very full. You're in Indiana and you just bought a mirepoix mix and you found, so you, oh, good idea. So you found the extra okra. That's a good idea to buy them separate. If you have the mirror, it's, I don't, how do you pronounce that, y'all? Mirror, mirror, mirror. I'm not sure how to say it, honestly. Um, somebody will probably put an enunciation in for me. I don't know how, I'm, I never took French. I feel like that's prob, that word is probably French, is my guess. So this makes a fair amount of food. I just feel like I could, I could maybe stuff it all into one, but that's way more than we will ever eat at one sitting. So I'm gonna bend it into two, and then I'll have two easy meals. My daughter actually really liked this. She and I were talking this morning on the phone. My picky kid actually said it was really good. Um, my not so picky kid didn't like it quite as much. This one's gonna have extra lima beans. Hang on, y'all, I gotta stir this a little bit more. We're getting it all stirred in here. I hope y'all are joining us. Next week, we will be doing the celebration menu plans. So I'm super excited about those. Okay. I'm gonna get all this into one. And I'll make two freezer meals. So I just got two more meals to fill my freezer, y'all. We will not, probably, I'm doing all my cooking in March. In April, I'm gonna have use all of our freezer meals. So I'm kind of excited. It will be a no cook April, except for maybe Easter weekend, I guess. Let me clean this up and I'm gonna stick some foil on these guys. Your kids hate lima beans. Oh yeah, yeah, you could totally, I don't like lima beans, honestly. You could totally leave the lima beans out. You could absolutely leave those out. Um, in fact, when I saw they had it in there, lima beans are not my favorite. <laughs> so I'm with your kids, but I would eat them obviously in this, it's not too much lima beans. And it's good for them, so that's fun. And it is, it's less painful to eat lima beans this way maybe than other ways. So we're gonna go ahead and mix these up. Your mom just had a stroke home with her now, going to start Crock-Pot recipes. Oh, I'll be praying for your mom who just had a stroke. Who was that? Let me go see you. Hey, Dawn, bless your heart, sweetie. I cannot imagine. I hope your mom is doing okay this morning. Faith, you are so welcome. Okay, so we've got our recipes done. I'm gonna go get the baby cards to put on top of these so I know what they are, and some tape. And there we go, we just made Two more recipes to fill our freezer with. What did we do breakfast sausage since your store was out? Oh, that's a good idea to do breakfast sausage. That's a great idea. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab some tape. I gotta get my baby cards. Y'all know we love the baby cards around here. You're having leftovers. What spice packet did I use? I didn't say that, I'm so sorry. It was a zesty Italian dressing mix is what I used. Okay, so now we're just gonna hop in here. Y'all know, these are the freezer menu baby cards. If you order the actual physical box of freezer meals, they come with these baby cards. We'll put a link in the comments to those. Um, and we are gonna do this one right here. So I'll put those on there. And I may actually, I gotta find the other one. They're color coded. That's why I'm looking for the right color. I know it's a gray. And sometimes they're all mixed in because I need to organize them. Let's see if I can find them. These are all the recipes that are so yummy. I'm thinking it's right there. It's gonna be, it's gotta be here. Looking for a gray one. If I don't find it this time through, I'll skip it and do it after. Or just write on it with a pen. I like to have the car baby cards because then when I go to cook them, it's really easy to tell my husband, pull it out, everything's in there and tell him what to do because they give him directions on what to do. But I don't have one there. Let me see if I have one here. Can you purchase? Yes, the baby cards can be purchased by themselves. We actually ordered these extra because we knew some people would want the little cards. You can print them. They do come, the baby cards, if you buy the PDF files, we do send you the files for these as well. Um, and it's just nice because on the day of cooking, you don't have to stress over thinking about what, what's in the meal. Oh, I can't, there it is, there it is. I knew I had one. There she is, y'all. There's that baby card, okay. So, and this little guy, everybody always asks me, this guy was from Walmart. So if you're looking for one, it holds those perfectly. And I usually try to keep an extra set. My sister-in-law is so cute. She came over and she was like, well, you're gonna need that back. And I was like, no, we buy extras because I don't want them to contaminate food. So that's why I would encourage you to, if you buy the freezer meals, 
either print a couple extra if you do the PDF files or buy a couple extra. Like I said, then I just tape it on here. We are good to knit go. I know exactly what to do for dinner. I just made two more meals. I'm feeling pretty awesome about myself for sure. This is the Bre Brunswick chicken stew casserole. And for anybody curious about this, do y'all have any questions about the PD about the this? The easel, the recipe easel. The recipe easel comes, if you buy the recipe easel on its own, it comes with one set of menu plans, one set of PDF files. They're PDF files that you print at home. If you get the bundle that I'm linking to right now, you get the binder and then you'll get all seven of our menu plans, all set as PDF. So you will be good to go. So yeah, absolutely. Oh, is it a crayon holder? Is it a crayon holder? <gasps> or a deck of cards. I bet it's for a deck of cards. I totally bet that's for a deck of cards. You put yours in a Ziploc bag. That may, yeah. Sometimes I'll put them in the Ziploc bag for sure. You laminate, oh, laminating Chris, that's so smart to laminate the baby cards. So the nice thing about this thing is that it has tabs, sides, lunch, breakfast, appetizers, salads, freezer, grilling, slow cooker, and then you can also write on the back of the tab. Do you see the tabs? so you know what's what there. Um, it just makes it super handy, if, especially if you like something that's bigger. It's nice because you can see these from across the room because they're just bigger than the actual cards are. So if that's something that would help you out, definitely try them out. Y'all, let me show you my pile of food and encourage y'all to go make some food. I'm super excited about this. So we have, just this week, Brunswick chicken stew casserole times two, quick and easy lasagna times two, ranch and Parmesan chicken tenders, which I actually already had. Uh, Hash brown and ham casserole times two. I gave one away to my sweet brother-in-law's mom. Um, lemon pesto chicken tenders. And two beef briskets. I have a few more in the freezer, but y'all, if you are struggling with making dinner, we have the best menu plans on the planet, honestly. Like, these are the best. Try them out. You're going to love them. Have an amazing day. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will talk to you soon. I can't wait to read your comments. I hope you're doing it. Uh, yeah, y'all have an amazing day. We'll talk soon. Bye, guys.